scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man who's delighted yes, in the So what someone said, it says, but his delight has from the dead. If you can rise, rise. If you cannot, it's all right. But lift up your two hands. We have a lot of from the dead is Jesus, he has risen from the dead, he is Lord. Lift up your two hands if you can, every shall bow, every That God is on assignment in this part of the nation tonight. God is about to change the destiny of this place for good. God is about to change the life of people permanently. And it will be so visible that if you mark it henceforth, you will remember that God has indeed come to visit. Lift those hands up. Yes, Lord. 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 throne of grace tonight not because of our own merit 
or righteousness. But we draw nigh in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is you who has chosen this time and this season to bring a restoration and great grace for the people of this land. Grant, O oh God, that tonight a season you have detected will be a night of mercy. Amen. Open forth and cause your presence to come down. Amen. Let the heavens be open tonight. And like a mountain melting waters, let your presence begin to melt every mountain ahead of you. Yes, Lord. Cause every curse to be removed. Cause every power of darkness to be removed. Cause every disease to be taken away. Break the bonds of the enemy. I command that every principality and every power of darkness be decapitated in the name of Jesus. Let every power that works in the lives of people for evil be destroyed tonight. Let prison doors be open. Let people that are bound be released. Let the sick be healed. Amen. Release the power of the Holy Ghost yes, upon this place yes, and everywhere and every land the hearing of my voice yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, and let me sing, shout and say, Amen. Amen. I heard some people were clapping their hands. If I've said this one somewhere, they would have clapped. Bon, sem kakra, bon, sem kakra. And give a loud scream and shout and say, Amen. Amen. I'm going to give you a sample of what is going to happen tonight. I'm going to preach the word of God. When I finish, I'll give the opportunity to everyone in this place who want to change life to come to Jesus. It will not be an emotion, it will be by your will. And yes, When I finish, we'll take our offering. When we finish our offering, we will start the assignment for which we are here. The power that God spoke about, which our father spoke about is going to come over all this place. For some people who are in their house and they are not here, that power would reach them there. When you see that power come, if you are sick, Begin to act right because you are healed. Then we pray for the sick. And afterwards, we release a blessing upon this land. You want to shout, Amen, shout it. Amen. But notwithstanding, wherever you are and you are hearing my voice, this sending is for you as well. Tonight, I have been asked to come and tell you that Lazarus shall rise again. Lazarus, or best sign as a review. This is the actual team for this meeting. So when I say Lazarus, say he shall rise again. Lazarus! He shall rise again. Lazarus! If you do understand, you would have stood up and said it. Every Lazarus shall rise again. Lazarus! Lazarus! And shout amen. Amen. I'm reading two quick passages of scriptures tonight. The first one is in John chapter 11, verse 1 to 5. And then I'll continue from 20 to 26. John 11, 1 to 5. Now, a certain man was sick. Lazarus of Bethany. 
the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary who anointed the Lord Jesus with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that a son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Hallelujah. Yohani has sent a tidu barcon, a fringe to move barcon, a cosi, a nomino. Now, Oyarifo be a hall, our friend or last row, our of free Betania, Maria, Nini Nyaba, Mata Krum. Now, a Maria, our ode and Mushin Sham, Esra, a radi, now, now, or didn't it see you, Pepan, and I hono, Nani Nia last row, a yarino. In tea, Ninia manum, summa by yes, and chain say. Erade she dear wo dono no yare na yesu te ye no o kan se ya die yi nye owo ya die na nyankopon eni onyam ntra se wo be fa so ase nyankopon ba no eni onyam ensu yesu do mata ni ni nua ba no eni lasro 2026 said the mata as soon as she heard that jesus was coming went and met him but Mary was sitting in the house when Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will live again. A free at your new corner. And Martha said, yes, Rebano, Okosiano, na Maria dear, Otsnefi. And Martha said, yes, said, Eradi. So waha and kamini ya be mane wu na se se impo mi nim se bibi biara ube busa o nyanko pono nyanko pono de be mao Jesus se no se wunu ya be mano o be sorry bill. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to them, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he dies. He shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Mata say no say. Minim say, O who sorry mu da e diatri no or be sorry. Yesu say no say. Mini o who sorry an inkwa. The otimi dieno se wa wumpa o penyan kwa. Na o piara o tiase na o timi dieno on wuta. What is your idea now? Shout amen. Amen. Tonight I want to begin by paying homage to our Nananum tonight. And we are blessed to have them here tonight on the Alant. Well, thank you very much for coming. And may the Lord bless you tonight. But tonight is a day of resurrection. And so, and you may or Everything that is dead in your life, in your land, in your home will resurrect tonight. Today is a day of restoration. Some of the things that you have lost, the enemy has taken away from you. God is about to bring it back to you. Today is a day of recovery of your every loss. And now you die on Sabbath, I can be pure. Somebody who has mouth who can believe can scream and say, Amen. Oh, I know it's in your Siamu Amen. Today is a day of recovery. And now you die on Sabbath, can you now come on? Shout, Amen. amen. The Almighty God is throwing open his arms oh, to so welcome so who so never will come to him tonight. He wants to restore you your life. He wants to give you salvation. He wants to give you healing. The Almighty God has opened his arms. 
It doesn't always happen. And yet, be an easy. The night before the planning of this program, the ICC chairman, Apostle Yao Ejekwati, asked me. ICC chairman or smart for you are taking what thing? Obisami. What is the theme for the program that you want to set? Sir, it's to make you a move. Some of you know they put type anything. I said I will tell you. Make out real. But in the night when I was asleep, and so I not sure I'm not done. A voice came to me and said, and maybe by me say can say. Go back to the people. And tell them the Lazarus will rise again. Somebody just scream and shout amen. So I called him in the morning and I said, Go tell your people Lazarus will rise again. Somebody rise and shout and say, Lazarus will rise again. Everything that has decomposed will receive life and it will rise again. I feel like preaching tonight. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I have been sent tonight to declare to you that at the end of this meeting that every Lazarus in your life that is dead will rise again. Every life that is dead or decay or destroy shall have life again. See, your future will be restored. Your destiny will be intact. The certainty of your future is assured tonight. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Your sins will be forgiven because you will receive a divine pardon. Your health will be restored. Your dignity will come back. Your lost wealth will come back to you. The almighty God will put a new power and new might over your life and you will see the glory of the Lord his forth. And you will declare to everyone and say, Every Lazarus in my life has risen again. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Can I preach? You see, the Bible said, Bible, let's say, or the story which we read, there are two sisters and their brother who lived together alone. The Bible did not mention their relations. They didn't talk about their father or mother or friends or family. They lived alone. And they have a brother, and the name of that brother is Lazarus. Now, one on your bear man or friend of Lazarus. All their hope was on him as their only brother. Now, one and the other son, you know, and you know, if he sell or no quiet anyone, you are bear in all the town where they lived. Sacro now, what is one? They have nobody when you be a. One of them was even trying to please Jesus so that she can be his friend. And the only hope they have is that brother which they are grooming so that in the future they can depend on him. Amen. Probably raising him for their future survival. He was their puppet. He was their joy. He was their hope for the future. Though they had no relationships. The Bible says they were friends to Jesus, and this Jesus loved Lazarus. Now, now for any years, na Jesus and so Lazarus They live dependent on themselves because they have nobody. 
And probably the ladies have put together all that they can do that they can raise this brother until he can stand on his feet. You see, it was one of them by the name Mary who put very precious oil on the head of Jesus. put very precious oil on the head of Jesus. And wiped it with her hair. It was that woman. They had worked and sacrificed so much, hoping that one day in the near future, the bride will rise on his feet and provide for them. Then when they got up in the morning, their only hope, Lazarus, Lazarus was dead. All their hope was gone. Their future was shattered. Darkness had fallen on them. Fear and anxiety for the future had gripped them. That is the position the devil has placed on so many people today. They jump and dance and pretend that everything is alright but it is not. The devil has vowed that he will make life miserable for you. Hear me dear brother, dear sister. The Bible says for the thief does not come but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The devil has modus operandi. Upon some of Kanya or Faso Yetuman, and his modus operandi is threefold. Now, a Kanya Faso Yetuman, I am your son. He comes to steal, obey ya. He comes to kill, obey kum, and he comes to destroy. Now, obey say, can you imagine that beautiful life? And they said your fathers did evil and he has been killed and you have to go on the slavery because somebody sinned. Lazarus was dead. Their only hope was gone. Their future is shattered. But watch me. Like Mary and Martha. They said, yeah, Maria and Martha. Your spiritual life has been snuffed off by the devil. You used to go to church and pray and fast. But you do not do that anymore. Your spiritual life has suddenly come to an end. You pretend to be spiritual. But you do know that the devil has stolen away your life from you. Your family life has been hijacked by the enemy. Your health has been taken away. Your work is quickly gone. You are desperate and hopeless. That is how you find yourself today. You are sick and in sin and in fear. And you live in constant fear of tomorrow. I want to tell you something. But guess what? I have a message for you tonight. The Lord Jesus has asked me to come and inform you tonight that Lazarus will rise again. The Lord has asked me to tell you that Lazarus will ask again. And put your hand right down and shout and say, Amen. Amen. In the middle of their desperation, Jesus comes in after the four days. He looks so late. But that is when he comes. He comes when all your hope is gone. He comes when every door in your life is shut. He comes when you are frustrated and you are lacking faith. 
He comes when you can say the situation is impossible. And you say to yourself, it cannot be done. When the doctor has declared to you and said, go and die, that is when he comes. When every situation has become hopeless, ah, Lazarus will rise again tonight. The body is buried. The funeral is completed. The corpse has begun to decompose. The situation was far from recovery. The hope of the people was gone. But guess what? Though the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, I have a good news for you. Somebody scream and say, tell us. The Bible said Jesus comes. Jesus comes. That you may have life. And not only have life. But have it more abundantly. Then Jesus came. Then Jesus came. Then Jesus came. And I yes you buy. Then Jesus came. And I yes you buy. When he comes, something so happens. BBC. John chapter 11, verse 14 said, Johanna Dubako, it is a good to know. Jesus said to them plainly, Yes, you can't say one perfect. Lazarus is dead. Lazarus, where would you? The situation is hopeless. By the standards of man, it cannot be done. And this place is too quiet. Somebody shout amen. Amen. But Jesus said to her, but yes, Catherine said, Your brother, no matter how decomposed, no matter how decayed, no matter how many days he has been dead, your brother will rise again. No matter how decompose your situation, your situation can be turned around. Jesus can give you hope. Jesus can give you hope. Jesus can bring you restoration. It doesn't matter what the enemy has done. Life is coming back again. The Lord has asked me to tell somebody tonight that you will not die, you will live. Come on, shout amen. Amen. Lazarus will live again. Lazarus, Lazarus will live again. Lazarus, Our nation will not always be like this. God will raise it up again. A Santa man will not always be like this. God will rise again. Somebody shout amen. amen. Your family will not be like this. Your life will not be like like this. Your health will not be like this. There is a resurrection inside your life said your God. Oh, I feel like preaching this. You, you are crying in your house. And, and you don't even have what you eat. Now we need your and everybody has given you up. Now, apple. And all the things that used to hold in your hands has been snuffed away by the devil. But hey, say, shout amen. amen. But Martha looked into the eyes of Jesus. Martha said yes when him. And then he said, I know can't say. I know that he will rise again in the last day. In the resurrection day. But guess what? And so say for the first time in the Bible. The Bible says Jesus began to weep. Jesus or 
John 11:43 said and Jesus wept. I see Jesus suye. I can perceive him weeping today. Mi use o su. How can the God that created the heavens and the earth weep? E pede na nyame o bo so ni asase asu. Why did Jesus weep? I na Jesus suye. He wept because of two reasons. E yenye ma me no ntira. No what? He wept because o suye fi se. He loved the man who is dead. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, so 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 that He gave His only begotten Son." And Jesus wept because. People of the world do not know that he lost them. But I have come to tell you that the mercies of God, the love of God, the kindness of God is out for you tonight. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you have come from. It doesn't matter your family. Jesus is weeping because he loves you. Not because we are not sinners. But the Bible says, whilst we were yet sinners, who were yet Christ Jesus he's out today Christo Jesus See, I have been preaching in the village in 1991 1991 See, 92. 92 my wife and I have traveled to a certain village and the whole village is devastated. Something. Uh, you look at the people. From the chief to the last, everybody is sick. We didn't even have a place to sleep. We have to go and sleep in a, uh, in a classroom somewhere. And then the, the, the fetish priest in the place, she's called Ntorbia. And I confirm her friend in Tobia came to beg me. I said, Osofu, I've heard you and your pregnant wife are here. We can't let you sleep there. there me mosquitoes. Come and sleep in my room. And so she gave us her room. And behind her house are the gods of the place. It is sad to see what human beings worship. When they have been created in the image of God. Next morning we went on the crusade ground. But guess what? All the people have come to sit down, including the chief, everybody. I, I preach in Yamsem. I I preached. That night. I preached. The, the people were sitting in their seat. Now what? Nobody mind me. What? I preached the next day. this this Nobody mind me. I preached the third day. On the fourth day, I got angry. And I decided to tell them something and go. But today, I don't say that kind of them. But that day, I said it. And So I looked at them and said, I'm not to for class. I said, I'm going to be a class. I'm going to be a class. I I'm going to I just told them my peace of mind. But whilst I was still talking like that, a drunkard jumped from the bush and he came and I said, don't get angry or suffer. I said, I suffer. I he said, <laughs> Pastor, control yourself. Pastor, control yourself. Exercise control. And then he asked me what I came with. 
Jesus came to love. He came to love the downcasted. Somebody shout amen in this place. Can I still preach? Hallelujah. Amen. And I said, what is your name? What do you need to say? He said, my name is Abugri Kosasi. Abugri Kosasi. I said, lift up your hand. He said, what are you saying? My own sasso. I said, lift up your hand. My own sasso. So he did. He took the Lord Jesus and as his Lord and Savior. When I was going to bed, I was more angry than I started the crusade. Pastor generator, a child can see me and I had carried a genset 13 kilometers, and he didn't give me any good soul, but this poor drunkard. But watch this. And so say. Not knowing that it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you have become. The love of God is out for every man. People of God, shout amen. Will you hear me now? Amen. The next day, a die this one. 15 minutes into my preaching, a train of people emerged from the bush where the man had come from. And they lined up on the platform. But I looked at the people. There was one who is on the fourth place. He looked like the man who came yesterday. But I can't believe it because this time he's in shirt. He's in trousers. And he has some slippers on. Uh, I'm still preaching. I want you to listen to me. You can sit down on the floor, all of you. They have all come to accept Jesus. And watch me, everyone. Don't look, mind them. Shout amen, will you please? Amen. Uh, you bring the chair, but let me finish my preaching. Eh? If anybody wants to come, let a person come quickly in this place. Can I still preach? Can I still preach? Yeah. Then the man who was in the cyst. Now, they're not lifted up his hands. Oh, man, it's so. it's a pastor. Oh, so for. Please stop. Try. You know how wild I do when I'm preaching. When you said Nobody interrupts me the way the guy does. No, me, sir. So I stopped. It's me tonight. Then he said, I no can't say. My name is Abugri so so and so. Yeah, from me, Abugri say, say. This man standing here is my father. I am 16 years old. Of all the 16 years old I have been, this morning was the first time I got up from bed and saw my father sober. Wine. We don't drink soup because he will kick everything away. This is the first time I have seen him drinking soup. We have taken him everywhere. They said his destiny is with his father who is dead in the grave. We have gone there, he is still the same. From yesterday night to today, Abugre has not taken a cup of drink. And I took him to my village. And I found a land for him. And I set him up there. And I Eight months later, I was home. When a train of women came. And a mabiato santin eba. They said, we have come to see you. And when they said, we are coming from where Abugre is. My heart lift a bit. When I saw him. Because I knew him. And I said, please, is there any trouble? They said, so we have come in peace. Can I give you water? They said, no, we will not drink water until we have said why we have come. So I said, why have you come? He said, we are women. Our men are people who beat women. 
And they do all kinds of things. The only man in this place which is sober and noble and sound that we can depend on and we can give our monies to him to keep is Rabugere Kosasi. You know, I said you don't know what you are talking about. Abugere. Are you sure you are the one these people are talking about? You say, oh, Papa. You say, oh, Papa. Abugere, they are winning no, no. The one you knew before. I know, no, he's not the one you saw. The old one <laughs> is gone. We hear Abugere Fufro. This is a new Yes, Christ so amamenka. Jesus has given me life. If you want to see that is really me. See kind now with the man me anka me be kwako to apetechi no. The money you gave me that I was going to buy a apetechi with, I still have some. I have come to tell you that Jesus loves you. My Bible can tell say yes to all. Jesus loves you and want to give you life. Yes to all, no person ma won kwa. But he does not only love you and want to give you eternal life. Na on no keke, e na person ma won kwa tie keke. He wants to restore you to an abundant life. O person o ma won kwa e puso. Number two, they are talking me. No. Jesus wept because Jesus saw in free say. He saw that the people does not believe. O hu se ni pa ni nyin ni. Jesus said to her. Jesus catch her and say. Listen, matter, matter, T. I am me, me. the resurrection. Oh, sorry, eh, no. and the life. Eh, ne, he who believes in me, eh, or timid, eh, no. though he may die, Se, oh, um, he shall live again. Oh, ben, yeah, kwe, he said, This is Jesus said, Yes, you can say, Lift up your right hand. What do you mean? I am me, me, ne. put your hands here and say it. What did he say? That same I am that showed himself to Moses. That same I am that is called the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. That same I am the sovereign Lord. That same I am the El Shaddai. That same I am Jehovah Elohim. That same I am. He said to Peter, Peter, do you not believe that I am here? I am the father I am the, I, I am the resurrection and the life I am the one that brings what is dead back to life I give hope to the hopeless I heal a liver and I give life it doesn't matter how dead and how hopeless your situation is. Guess what? After tonight, you are brand new man. After tonight, you are a brand new woman. Shout hallelujah. Amen. He is the giver of life. He is the restorer. He is the healer of the broken heart. He is the Lord. He is alive. He went to the great side. And when he got there, he said to the people, everybody lift up your two hands. I want to say it to you. He said to the people, he said to the people, remove the stone. Shout amen. Amen. That request is being made tonight. And you may or cast us Put your hands down. It means that take away every obstacle. And no I said be Take away every doubt. Ye be Piara Aya Jintanta. Take away every unbelief. Ye be Piara Anyan ye. Take away every sin. Nafe ye boni biara. Take away every unrepentance. Na ye a chin sacre biara. Take away every self righteousness. Na ye nya chum biara friho. Jesus said to her. Yes, you catch it and say. Did I not say to you that if you would believe? Man can't say, Sauti dia. 
you will see the glory of God. Only believe and repent. That is the key to life. Take away that stone. Only believe. Too many people believe that God is dead. Look at this. What do you say? But they believe the devil is alive. Only believe. Yeah. The, 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 the young man looked at me and said, please, what must we do? I said, you don't have anything to do. You even don't have the money to pay. The requirement is simple. See? You see that stone? That is lying behind your decay. Roll it away. Oh, then he said, what said stone is that? That unbelief. That unrepentant heart. You see what I'm talking about? Only believe. Just repent of your sins. You don't need to do anything. I will not steal again. I used to steal. I used to fornicate. I've stopped. This very night. And I believe. This Jesus. That is it. That is it. That is it. You don't have anything to do. Then went Jesus after this to the graveside. And I was looking at him. What is he trying to do? But he heard what I was saying. Probably he was saying to himself, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the Lord God. Then he screamed and said, Lazarus, come out. I thought he was going to shut another one. Instantly, the man that was there started coming out. The clothes cover his head. Clothes cover his body. He calls the thing that are dead back to life. You see, your life is decaying. But Jesus is shouting tonight. It is the shout of the king. And he will bring you life. No, no, no. You will not die. You will live. You will not go to hell. You will go to heaven. Because Jesus has shouted. All you need to do is to repent and believe. Repent and believe. Repent and believe. Repent and believe. Come on, shout amen. Amen. I'm not going to continue now. I'm going to do what I have to do now. Then I will come back again. Rise up on your feet. If but you so reach now, nice. Everywhere you are, don't let anybody distract you. If you are walking about, stop on your track. Stop on your track. There is grace and mercy out here tonight. And I want you to bow down your head and close your eyes and don't be unbelieving. I, I can feel mercy walking about in this place. I, I, I can see the grace of God everywhere. And he's standing right beside you. Now, now say, Bow down your head and close your eyes. I want you to speak with a language you understand. And tell God what you feel about him. You have been living in sin. Somebody brought you here. Evidently, your life is falling apart. You have gone about everywhere. I want you to speak to him. Ask him to forgive you your sins. Ask him to come into your life. Tell him you want him to resurrect you again. Young man, young woman. It doesn't matter where you are standing. You don't even go to church. 
you have not even given your life to Jesus. Some of you go to some church. But you have not even met this Jesus. Tonight is a night of resurrection. You want to save your life. If this is your prayer. And you want to give your life to him. Slip your right hand up. Thank you. Everywhere. Baby, baby. Outside behind the walls. Slip it up. Thank you. I see it everywhere. I want all of you who are beside the people who are asleep off their hands to help them put your right hand on their shoulder. Especially those of you who are the gospel heralds. gospel heralds. And I want you to do something one. Just help that brother who has slipped up his hand. And bring him to the altar of Jesus tonight. Bring him quickly. Don't be ashamed. Come from Man, everywhere. everywhere. From everywhere. from everywhere. From the from back, back, from the street. So Come, Come quickly. Thank you, brother. Run, run fast. There's no time. You want to give your life to Jesus. Come quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Come quickly. Come everywhere. From the corners of the street, out there and out there and out there and out there and out there. And out there. Come quickly. Come quickly, come quickly. The person you have held, bring him to me quickly. There was Sonny Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. God bless you, brothers. Give them a clap offering. Let them come. come on, Samuel. Oh, Jesus is merciful. Jesus is merciful. Jesus is merciful. Give them a clap offering. Let them come. All over from the back. All over from the back. All over from the back. Jesus is calling you. 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 Thank you, brother. Come quickly, come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Longing for pardon to Come quickly. Don't waste the time. Come quickly. Jesus, Jesus in this way. Is there a heart that is waiting, longing, longing for pardon tonight? Come, Jesus is calling you. Jesus, Jesus is calling you tonight. Jesus is passing this way. Jesus is passing this way. I love you, this way. Jesus. I love you, this Jesus. Jesus is passing this way.
I didn't ask you to go back. This is the last night. But it's a night of God's love. Oh, how God loved the world. I have always been perceiving Jesus crying. Because he loves you. And he died for you. He allowed himself to be hanged on the cross for you. He took your place on the cross. Yes, you were that Barabbas. Destined to die. But he took your place. He's here tonight. Wherever you are, you are the hearing of my voice. Listen to me. See me. See there is a voice that is shouting come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest this is that rest come come oh child of God come 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 come, come. come. Break yourself from his shackles. And come. Bra. The devil wants to snub off your life from you. He wants to kill you. And he wants to destroy you. Now, But Jesus wants to give you life. I will give you one more opportunity. I will ask the minstrel to lift up a song. And while they sing this one last song. Dance your way right now. Nabra. The Lord is a rock for me. Come on. If there was somebody help them and bring them. Me. Look at somebody beside you and help them and bring them. For I know that Jesus is my Savior. The Lord is a rock for me. Thank you, Jesus. He does my needs for me. I put my trust in him. Jesus is my Savior. Say again, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. Say again, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. Now when He comes to Jesus, come. He does my need for me. Come quickly. God bless you. I put my trust in Him. Oh, for I know that Jesus is my Savior. The Lord is he does my needs for me. I put God my trust in me. For I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I put my trust in him For I know that Jesus is my Savior I know, I know, I know, I know I know that Jesus is
Me be ma of penin abe bom pie. Now ko he oba bin cheha oba chami chami. I'm a frafa ye ni chafa. Why ye? I'm a man ya sofo. I'm a man ya kupa ne pape. Chira 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 ka. I'm a frafa ye ni chafa. Why ye? The door is open for you. and look at me. Whether you are on social media or you are on a television or wherever you are, I want you to look at, at me right now. I can sense the power of God coming tonight. It is coming so powerfully everywhere. Yes. I can hear the dead rising back. In the name of Jesus. I can hear the life that has no zeal coming back to life. There is a resurrection in this place tonight. Yes. But it is beginning now. Mm -hmm. Apostle, where is the young man? No, 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 not you, not my friend. Where is the interpreter? I am using the English because there are many people all over the world that are listening to us. Some are in their houses. And they want to make the same decision. That is why we want to combine the language. So, help them to accept the Lord now. Lift, lift up your hands. Lift up your two hands. And repeat, repeat these words after me. I believe. I believe. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is the Son of God. It is because of my sin that he came to die. Yes, yes, no. And he was buried. On the third day, he arose from the dead for my justification. So tonight, I take him as my Lord and my Savior. I'll walk with him all the days of my life. So help me God. Amen. 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 Now, I want everybody to listen to this instruction. Look. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them.
because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.